Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how to make a felt poinsettia. These flowers can be used to decorate a tree, wreath, or added to a present. This project only requires a few materials and tools including felt, a needle and thread, a marker, scissors, and a template, which you can make yourself or use the one listed in the description. Don't worry if you are not a sewer, this project only uses a few stitches and does not need to be perfect. So let me show you how to make these. The first step is to use your pattern and marker to trace the petal shape on your felt. The pet pattern, if you want to make your own, duplicates the shape of a petal. That can be simple or more elaborate should you choose. Felt is a good material to use for its structure and the fact that you don't have to worry about hemming the edges because they will not fray. Once you are done tracing the petals, cut them out along the inside of the outline so the marker will not interfere with the finished flower. Here you can see me tracing each petal using a Sharpie. You can use any marker you have available. Be careful and take your time cutting these out. One tip I can give you is that using fabric scissors will cut felt more easily. Make sure to go right along the inside of the marker line. This will give you the shape and eliminate any of the black from your white, red, or any other color you choose. Once the petals are all cut out, use your needle and thread to sew them together. Make sure the end of your thread is knotted. Fold the bottom of each petal in half and pull the needle and thread through each one. Here I'm securing the first petal before moving on to the others. By using a matching color thread, the stitches will not show against the felt. This stitch is very simple. I'm just going through the bottom of each petal. I'm aiming the needle roughly in the same spot on each petal, but does not have to be exact. As you sew, keep them bunched together. You'll spread them out later. Now complete the stitch circle by connecting the last petal to the first. Once on the front of the flower, adjust the petals to give them the look you want. Flipping the flower over to the back and adds, adding more stitches to connect the petals together. Now there's no special pattern to the stitch. Just make them as you see fit to give your flower more structure. Then as many as a few or as few as you want. Here, before I finish this stitch, I'm looping the thread back through. This gives it a knot to help secure it. I'm going to do that one more time to finish off. Please note that you can use glue instead of needle and thread to give a small portion of the bottom of each petal glued closed first, then glue each of the petals together where you would otherwise stitch them. You can use a hot glue or regular glue. To finish the poinsettias, you can add a gem or button at the center 
or you can add glitter to give them some sparkle like I did with this one. Simple glue and glitter. So there you go. These flowers can be personalized to you in your decor. Use them however you wish to spread a little holiday cheer. And you can also make them fuller by layering them, either the same size or different sizing. Here is a look at some finished flowers. Wishing you and yours a very happy and healthy holiday season and new year.